Hi guys, something a little bit different, a bit of scavenging or harvesting. You may know or you may have seen the videos that I've replaced my old conservatory with a new conservatory. The old conservatory had these solar vents in it, which when the sun shines it powers the solar panels which powers a little electric motor in there, which draws the hot air out of the conservatory and blows it out of a little hole in the top. So the idea is it helps to keep the conservatory cool. If I just bring this light over, one of them works and one of them doesn't. I have to move the camera, I think. that down there a bit. Okay, let's have another go. So, not a lot's happening with that one. But that one's quite happy. Squeaks a bit. <laughs> Which was quite annoying when it was up in the conservatory. But this one doesn't work at all. So, We'll take it apart and see if there's anything obvious that we can do to fix it. If nothing else, I've got a solar panel that I can play with. Two screws. generous, we'll try the 20 volt scale to begin with. Nothing. I can see that this panel will probably push out of the mountain relatively easily. probably have to release the wires so we can actually move it out. Just before I desolder it, I just connected a wire on one side and we'll just very temporarily use this fairly dead 9 volt battery. And that's working. So we're all right from here on, so in that case it looks like a loose wire on the actual solar panel. Right, not an ideal way to view this because it's a bit bright, but if I go across these two panels, I don't know if we can still see you because my hand gets in the way, getting about 1.02 volts. So that's across those two quarters. If I go across the same positions on the other side I get nothing. But if I go halfway I get half a volt. But if I do the same thing on the other side I get nothing. So it's this quarter panel that's gone faulty, which is probably just the connections on the back. But there isn't an easy way to get in there. So what we've got is one, two, three working panels and one faulty panel. So if I connect myself back up to that lead and come to here we should get something. One two 
one volt. Ah, no, we won't, because that's in the middle of the circuit. Because it goes one, two, three, four. So I guess if I short circuited between there and there, we could use three of them. And get about half a volt from each one. So there we go, that's what's wrong with that one. It's the actual solar panel that's faulty. The motor is fine. The fan blade just pulled off. I'm just pushing this out. That looks like that's just a push fit as well. Yep, there we go. So that's a nice size motor. There's no circuitry in there as such, just the on-off switch. And we've already established that motor runs okay. Just put a bit of sticky tape on there so we can see it's working. So we've got a working electric motor, we've got a fan blade, which is only any good for blowing stuff out sideways, no good for trying to drive a car forwards. We've got a solar panel, which has one, two, three good panels and one dead panel, and it produces about one volt across those two. little close-up for summary. This was a solar vent type 21 stroke 22 and that says intersolar on there. On off switch, solar panel, fan blade and an electric motor. Or separated out, solar panel fan blade, electric motor, on off switch. Job done, but we might revisit this and use that to drive a little car of some sort, or a boat, but I don't think it would be good enough for an aeroplane, it's quite heavy.